But what if I told you there was one rig that you could use for all your fishing? Whether you're fishing on weed, silt, gravel, whether you're using a pop-up, a bottom bait, or a balance bait. I think I've found a rig that can do all of these and perform perfectly on all those terrains. And once more, this rig will also tell you when the fish are getting aware of it. So if the fish manage to shake the hook out, this rig will tell you what's happening out on the lake. And I think that's absolutely crucially important. Now, I've been using this for about six years exclusively, and it's caught fish from all over the country, abroad, and a lot of my mates have adopted this and they've caught loads and loads of fish. So it's pedigree is without doubt. I get a lot of requests on social media to show how to tie this. Um, I've shown it many times in videos, but we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step and show you exactly how to tie this. And this is what I believe to be the ultimate rig. Well, the components to tie this rig are very, very simple. We start off with some stiff type material like fluorocarbon. Loads and loads of different ones on the market. I use this one. Um, and this just makes sure that the rig gets thrown away, which is really, really important from the lead. So then we move on to the last component of the rig, giving the flexibility, which is a braided component. Again, loads of braids out there. And this is gonna be looped on, so it means you can take the hook on and off very, very quickly. That's very, very important. And then it comes down to uh, your hook choice. Now for me, I've used sort of curve shank style hooks for this rig, but I have used shod style hooks, wide gapes, beak points, all, all, all manner of types. You can use any hook, any hook that's personal to you, you can use. But for me, the old curve shanks does really well for me and I've, I've got great faith in them. Um, so from that, all you're gonna need then is a tiny bit of silicone. Notice that this is not uh, shrink tubing. It's just 1.2 to 1.5 mil normal silicon you can buy anywhere and this just sandwiches everything in place and then for the actual uh, putting the bait onto the rig I suppose then a bait screw for me has been pretty standard I've been using these for, for a number of years now really quick and easy but you can use a little swivel to tie your baits on or whatever you want so there's all the components really simple I'm going to go through the step by step now So it's really simply pull off about six to eight inches of braid and that'll be your loop. This is gonna be a flexible loop at the end of the fluorocarbon. Then again, pull a, another nine to 10 inches of fluorocarbon off, but I leave it attached to the spool. I don't snip it off because it, it stops all the, the ends flaying about and it's just, just easier to tie the knot. Then pinch the end down and make it into a bit of a point. You see how there everything sort of flows and you've got your essentially an eye of a hook and, and what I say is treat this like a knotless knot the, how to tie the next bit but simply put the loop through fix it in the position that you want it lengthwise bear in mind it's going to pull down another five or six mil when you tighten the knot and then like I said is to treat it like a knotless knot you're now going to whip up the fluorocarbon or up the shank of the hook if you like at least four to five times going up so you can wet the two bits of braid I find that sometimes helps keeps everything together and just take your time going up nice and neatly and when you get to the top you've got to change hands position so your other hand comes in pinches the top of the the coils and then you go back down the shank another two or three times and the, the important bit now is to go back through the same way as the loop so this gets a bit fiddly but if you pull you can pull the knot slightly down on the fluorocarbon and that relieves your little fluorocarbon, uh, fluorocarbon loop and then just poke the tag ends through um, I have used a bit of needle in the past because it is quite fiddly and once that's through and it exit in the same way as the loop you now need to pull this down wet it first and pull it down into position I use pullers for this I just find this makes it very very easily an easy process so pull down nice and tight you'll gain a little bit on the loop and, and there it is there's your flexible loop you can a quick attach any hook to this uh, this rig but first of all I just add a little bit of silicon this is about 1.5 to 2 mil um, and then hook of your choice goes on I use the curve shanks and uh, on the back of that you're going to attach what is going to be effectively your hair you can use all sorts of things for this swivels but I use the little um, bait screws and I find these are absolutely perfect very very quick and, and easy to use that little bit of silicon then gets pushed up over the eye and you notice on the curve shank this makes a huge safe bent hook rig finish the whole lot off with a bit of putty just to help 
bring the hook point down into the fish's mouth and then bait of your choice in this case I've got really heavy bottom bait on here but you can use balanced baits and that's it the ultimate rig so that's the rig in its entirety dead simple to do once you've uh, once you've mastered that knot it's really really easy to tie and I've not talked about how it can tell you what's going on out in the lake as well and that's very very simply if if a fish takes this bait managed to prick itself in the in the lip and shake the hook out against the lead what happens is it shakes if it shakes that little loop gets pulled down nice and tight and if the hook comes out and the fish gets aware of it you may get a couple of single bleeps where the fish has dislodged it and just moved the lead slightly and that tells you that there's been fish feeding on the spot which is absolutely crucially important now you may think you may get this to happen with bird life but it actually doesn't when the, when a bird comes down and picks up the bait it will pick up the it grab the hook bait whatever that may be pull it up and because it's pulling against the lead that hook is going absolutely nowhere sorry the hook is going absolutely nowhere so it won't move at all and even on cast it won't move that is absolutely tight i've cast this rig 130 yards plus there's no movement at all so it's a really really good indicator to tell you what's going on out in the pond as well on the end there you have a simple loop system i fish this pretty much exclusively on a helicopter style system but i have fished it on leg clips before um, and then it's very easy get a little bit of silicon onto your quick change latch and it is a very very quick and easy process easy to get the hook off so you can reuse the rig times times again i've used this rig crikey for i don't know how many captures now lots and lots but because the components are so so strong you don't need to change it saves a lot of money as well with a latch system you can just literally poke that through on it goes a little bit of silicon goes over the top keeps everything in place and there you have it a brilliant brilliant rig that catches you loads and loads of carp and lets you focus on the important things about finding the fish